taking you in this moment. Come get close like your own name. Read your aura, you want more of all this love, you'll be your name. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby. If you're new here, hey, and if you're not, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today's video is going to be all about my healthy girl era. I truly have been living like my best life and I truly believe that I've been on sticking to an actual routine of feeling like my all-time best and I know I think I can thrive a little bit harder than I actually am. So I'm going to share with you guys like a little routine of how I've been trying to like implement a lot of like healthy things into my life, doing things like on my own and that's definitely one of like the main sources of my little healthy girl era is doing things on my own that better me because doing things on my own is definitely something that I mm, struggle on but I think it's definitely super healthy to have a relationship like of my own with myself this morning I woke up a little bit later than I normally do I usually wake up around 4 30 or 5 in the morning but today is Saturday um, so I decided let me sleep a little bit more and it's still early I woke up at 6 57 I did snooze my alarm but that's okay I definitely needed the little extra sleep and also I do want to mention that I do scroll on social media right away when I wake up because I have catered my social media into an algorithm that suits me and betters me in a way and i know it's like just the fact of like picking up my phone and being on my phone that probably isn't the healthiest but i definitely have catered my socials to motivate me so i do follow a lot of people who motivate me inspire me and definitely give me an extra little boost to get up in the morning that is why i do scroll on social media but again i feel like i do have a super healthy relationship with social media because of that you do you sis today i'm going to share with you guys my whole entire day i'm going to go to a yoga class which i'm super excited about and I'm definitely going on my own, so this is a little scary for me. And then I have to do some grocery shopping, so I'm going to share with you guys how I've been doing that. And then later tonight, I'm going back to my hometown, which is like an hour and a half away. And I'm going to hang out with a family member. It doesn't have to all be like, you know, stay at home, self-care. No, this healthy girl era is definitely balance. So definitely stick around for that. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna make a coffee. I know I'll probably end up buying a coffee somewhere. I don't know. So I think I'm gonna make like a small coffee here at home to have like on the drive there. It's not really that far, it's like 20 minutes. But I do have like Starbucks cups that I like to reuse. This is a tall, so I'm gonna make a small coffee and have that on the go.
Pro tip, if you like your brown sugar chicken espressos, use your milk frother, put your shot of espresso in there, well, your coffee. Press the cold button and let it froth up. That way you don't shake it up with the ice in there and it gets watered down. That's a little tip for you guys. So. And there's my at-home Starbucks. I just got here. I'm definitely early. I have an hour and I think I'm gonna go sit by the beach and probably read my book or just take some content pictures because I don't have any content at all. I brought Confess. Um, I still have yet to start it. So um, we'll see what I end up doing. I might just finish my coffee here. Earlier, I mentioned that I'm getting out of my comfort zone and going to this class alone. And the thing is, it's not like your generic studio yoga class because I've done those things alone. Like I've gone to unfamiliar places and taken like yoga classes for the very first time by myself but this is in an area where they do events and i've never one gone to this place that they do events two i've never taken a yoga class from this instructor i just happened to follow her on instagram i saw her story that she was doing this yoga class and i was like i'm not doing anything on saturday morning let's try it out and third i don't know anyone that's going i don't know a single soul i don't know how many people are going to this yoga class because if you take studio classes it'll tell you like how many spots like are available or not available i don't even know i could be like the only person and i know i won't be but you know what i mean so i'm really excited to like just like get out of my comfort zone and do this i know it'll be a lot of fun Hello guys, I am back from the class. That was amazing. I feel so rejuvenated. It's just like so amazing how life works in general. I was really shy to come to this yoga class by myself and I made a friend and I was the one who approached her. Basically because I've left my wallet and to pay for the parking, there's no like tap to pay, Apple Pay. I have physically used a card and I totally didn't have anything on me. I left my wallet at home. So I asked her, I was like, hey, do you think you can save my life and pay for my ticket and I'll pass it to you? We don't have Venmo here, so it's called Adacha Mobi. So I was like, hey, can I pass it to you through Adacha Mobi? She's like, yes, totally. And we just like started talking from there. And she was so sweet. I started following her on Instagram. She followed me back. And it's just like so fun how like life works because at the end of the class, we went up to the instructor. We ended up like telling her like, yeah, we met in line outside and she's like, wow, that's amazing. That's like why she creates events like that. So you can get to know people who enjoy the same things you do. And that's just so amazing. I don't know. I'm just really happy that I went to this and it was a great start to like my weekend. I'm going to head off to go grocery shop quickly and yeah, I'll meet you there. to pick up a sourdough bread and a chocolate bread i've never tried chocolate bread i'm gonna share with you guys a quick grocery haul this is not everything that i'm needing for the week but tomorrow i'm going to costco just not today so this is really random but this is the majority of the things i normally get almond milk i want to try this chobani creamer for my coffees so frito for when i cook meats broccoli and avocado definitely not healthy but it's so good tortellini pasta, broccoli sprouts, 
some dates. I really want to try like the Snickers uh, desserts. So maybe you'll see that soon. Strawberries, and plums for my husband, mushrooms, ground meat, skirt steak, a sweet potato, asparagus. I really want to try out kimchi, but every kimchi I find is always spicy and I just cannot do spice. This one I found is mild, so let's try it out. A cucumber, two cartons of eggs. I just got to Costco and I quickly wanted to talk to you guys about groceries in general. My husband and I do spend quite a bit on groceries. I do go grocery shopping weekly, but I always tell myself like, Gabby, we need to cut down on the money we spend on groceries. I've looked into it and in Puerto Rico, things are getting really expensive, especially the way my husband and I eat. We do love to buy organic. We're very conscious of what we buy and what we put into like our bodies because what we put into our bodies definitely reflects outwards and on how we beam out to people. And that just like is really super important to me on feeling my best and being at my all-time best being my healthiest self and definitely everything in moderation we do definitely love to indulge in cold stone ice cream um we do love to go out and eat because obviously date nights are super important to us but majority of the time we are home i do work from home he definitely is home 80 percent of the time so it kind of makes sense because we do eat a lot at home so the money we do spend on groceries definitely like equals out to when we do go out to eat because we don't go out to eat that much if that makes any sense we are definitely blessed and grateful that we can spend this money on groceries because we do love to get a lot of produce so that's why i also come weekly to grocery shop because we end up eating it all obviously before it goes bad and then I, it just makes sense you know it just makes sense <laughs> if you know you know I'm the one who cooks at home, so I definitely like play around with the same staples that we always get. But I definitely find a lot of my inspo on Pinterest or TikTok. And I think it's definitely a must for you to make a grocery list. When I moved out of my parents' house, I literally was five months trying to figure out how I was going to grocery shop because I would spend so much money and the food would go to waste so it's definitely important make a grocery list your top proteins your top carbs your top veggies your top fruits snacks etc and drinks and that's how i just plan out my weekly meals or weekly grocery shops um by making a list because it's much easier and in the long run it's so much better for your bank account so i'm gonna head into costco and i'll see you guys in there excited for these they look so good i just had a few chocolate chips from that i'm about to make some avocado toast and i'm definitely going to try this oh my gosh this with like almond butter and banana chef's kiss we're gonna try it out this looks so freaking good i'm about to eat this and edit this video you're watching Release all of your 